I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plink. Today we're going to be doing another Henry product, but uh, it's a little bit different than the normal. And we're going to be going kind of James Bond style, I guess you'd say. It's called a Henry survival rifle. It comes in this little box like this right here. Um, and it's an AR-7. We're going to put the thing together. And I've already shot it, and so we're not going to go through that because I'll be telling you all about that. And plastic bag, naturally. Um, and everything, no, this isn't just the stuff. Everything is right inside of here. I have three magazines in here. I've got one in the action and two in a little storage area, and we'll show you that. Here's your storage area right in the back. And you have your action, which like I said, I already had the magazine in. Two extra magazines in here. I, I got an extra one. You always want to do that if you're going to get one of these. Get an extra magazine because there's already a slot for it. There's the barrel. And I'll talk about the sight adjustment in just a bit. Take the action, put it in here. Make sure, always make sure that the magazine's empty, as you can see. This is also empty in there. It's very easy to put these in and out. There's a little lever here, by the way, that you push up on. That drops it out. It's right down here, right in the trigger guard. Now, let me put this on here. Now, here's your safety. I'm going to be talking about that in just a little bit. Yeah, you fumble around a little bit with this, especially when you first get it. Tighten it down right under here. You're not going to put this thing together fast. It may be a survival rifle, but you're not going to put it together fast, I'll guarantee you. Now, your barrel, you have a little pin right here, right up in this area here. That fits in this groove, so you're not going to make a mistake of putting the thing together wrong that way. You can just make sure that you got that little pin. Like I said, find the pin. There it is, right there. And that groove, it goes in like that. Now you're ready to screw it down. And like I said, you're not going to put this thing together fast. I don't think you are unless you're really, really good at it and do a lot of practicing. Now the action is open right here. You got this little bar that comes in and out. Pulls out so that you can do it here. And this is semi-automatic. Those magazines are eight rounds. That's all it's going to load is eight rounds. Now, like I said, the safety. Okay, the safety is on right there. You can't pull it. One problem I found is you can bump this sucker real easy because it's right out here like this and you can have it off safety without knowing it. I've already done it. Uh, I know I haven't shot anything because of it, but I caught myself and I, I thought I had it off and somehow I bumped it and I went to shoot and mm, this has got a peep sight as you can see and it's got a little orange one up here. Now you may notice that it's kind of off to the side. The reason being is that uh, I had to do some adjusting on that. Uh, when I was shooting, which I'll show you here, I was I kept looking down there and thinking, why land? And I also found out that you have to take a lot more of that sight, that the whole thing in fact, take that whole sight into the bottom of that peep sight. You don't just take the top post. You gotta take that whole whole thing. Not this, but the, everything that's orange there, that's what you have to look at down there and put it on the target. And that's what I was running into when I was shooting this. As you will see, here's the top of it. I put it back on this thing. Now it's this way. I was shooting low and it's because I just wasn't taking enough of the sight. That's all there was to it. Finally, I got up here and I was able to hit it. Now, I shot this at 25 yards, so I thought, well, that's not too bad because I was hitting right up in here. And this thing does shoot different than your your regular gun, especially your regular Henry, the lever action. And 
that's about it on this thing. You just you have this course after you get done. You went before you shoot. You want to put that back on, and then you got yourself a water sealed area. This is waterproof. Um, supposedly it floats. I didn't try it. I'm not going to. Uh, not at least I'm not planning on it. And it's a, this one's a 22, a 22 uh, long rifle, and probably ammunition. Go with a high velocity. I was shooting uh, what they call federal uh, high velocity match, and it was it was working very well on it. And I also shot some champion. Now, this is the fun thing that's funny. I used the federal champion, and I probably had about four or five rounds that did not fire. And I thought, well, is it the gun or is it the ammo? Because I've been having this problem with that particular ammunition. So I stuck it into my Browning 1911 just to see what would happen. And every round fired. So whether it was this that misfired, I don't really know. Uh, I did have one uh, that was sticking out, your stove piping. I had that come out there one time, just once, uh, which was another kind of an odd situation. And otherwise, you know, it was, it, it sounds funny. It's, it's a lot different, but it, uh, uh, it's not too bad of a gun if, if you want something for survival or if you want it uh, just as a novelty. This is not a gun that I'm going to tell anybody to go out and buy just because it's, uh, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of shooting. Because I wouldn't be doing a lot of shooting. In fact, if you're going to go out and do some target shooting, and do quite a bit of it, and you don't quite have the budget, and that's why you want with this, because this retails for about $290. I would say to take that money and put a little bit more with it for one like this. This is the Frontier lever action. Uh, it's just the 20 inch barrel, not the new long one. I put the scope on there. That does not come with it. That's a Tasco scope, and the same way with this hammer extension, I put that on there. Um, and I would say to this thing retails for about 450, but you might be able to see it for about three something in some of the dealers. Um, if you're going to be doing some serious shooting because this one has got the, uh, the buckhorn sight with the white diamond and the brass bead in case you don't want to put a scope, but it has you know, the scope rail, rail. I would say that put the extra money and get this. Uh, that's what I said, just for, if you're really gonna be doing a lot of shooting, this is not for that. Again, this is a survival rifle or something as a novelty. And for that purpose, yes, it works very well. You could store this in, in your boat uh, locker, uh, in your vehicle, uh, whatever you're going to do because uh, it all goes right down inside of this thing and that's all you got to carry it, just right there, it's got its own little case. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day at planking.